The next part of the meditation is best done within a medicine wheel or within a ritual space. It is not absolutely necessary, but many people feel more supported, more comfortable when they've rearranged their environment to be more safe and more supportive of their journey. So in the first part of the journey we will make by imagining a space in nature. It can be any type of place you like. The desert, the mountains, the beach, the forest. Feel which landscape attracts you. It should be a place which can hold your interest, which enlivens you, which makes you happy to be there, enthusiastic to explore it. And fantasize about you being in this wonderful and beautiful place in nature. And try to make the sensation more deep, instead of just seeing it with your eyes. Feel the wind on your skin. Hear the sound. Taste the scent in the air, so that you feel you're more there than here in your body. And in this place, imagine a landmark place for meeting. It can be that there is a bridge, a big old tree, a cliff, any meeting place you would like. And just see this meeting place from a distance and know that you will be going there and that also all your other friends will be going there. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, your power animals. And feel that as you are closing to this place, you're also becoming closer to your friends in the astral world that they are already starting to travel with you to this place of meeting. Some you may find on the way, others you will find waiting for you. And take your time to listen to them, to say hello to them. Share gifts with them. So that you will be well prepared for your journey. But as you make clear to them what your goal will be that you want to travel into the underworld, into your own subconscious and try to harmonize it there. You will see that some of the guides will take their distance because they feel that this is not their task, this is not their purpose. While other animals will draw more close to you and spirit because they feel they can help you, that they can support you in this quest. Start forming a little fellowship, a little group, a 
with whom you shall travel. For those of you who have good shape changing qualities, take some time to alter your energy body to align with all the different animals which are around you. Because they have qualities you might need on your travel. You might want to hang on to those changes in your energy body either to take them with you when you leave the astral world or just temporarily while you're on your quest. And for those who don't have shape-changing qualities there are other ways to get closer to the animals. They can eat you, you can eat them Maybe they can ride on you, or you can ride on them. Or otherwise, you can just travel together, depending on the level of closeness, which is required. Once you feel the group is no longer a collection of individuals, but has become one in purpose. And that all are in harmony, all are attuned to the task which lies ahead. Then start travelling with them, looking for a way into the underworld can be that you have to go into the depths of the sea or a lake, to go down the roots of a great tree, or into a cave, or just under a rock. All these things are just symbols for leaving the astral sun, which is a symbol of the world you are aware of and going into the astral darkness which is your own subconscious. And often you will find that as you're traveling towards this place it already starts to get darker, the light becomes more dim. As you go into more unexplored parts of your own spirit. Sometimes you will even find challenges on your way. Blockades, gates, guardians. Because there is a reason you keep some things hidden from yourself. There is a reason that some parts, some memories are too disruptive, too painful to come up all the time. These parts which you don't visit, they grow wild, they grow disharmonious. As you're passing through these areas, try to see what you can do to make them whole again, to make them light again. For you carry your own light with you into your own darkness. Your spirit is with you. Your spirit guides are with you. Your ancestors are with you. And know that you have a right as being the dominant consciousness to go into every area, to pass any barrier.
and use that authority to move aside any guard, any gate, any barrier. Transform it all with your consciousness or with the help of your guides. can be that some guides will only travel with you part of the way. That is fine. Usually on every part of the journey there's one guide who is there to help you overcome a specific problem, a specific obstacle. But after that you will step back and allow another guide to take over. you go deeper into the darkness. Know where you want to go. The part of your subconsciousness where all your fragments exist. All your different chakras. All your old yous from the different periods of your life. From all the different situations where you could not be yourself anymore and had to wear a mask. Now we will move on when you're ready to the second part of the journey. The working with the masks, the subpersonality.